And a very good evening to you. A big night ahead here at the San Siro, or as it's sometimes referred to, the Giuseppe Meazza Stadium. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position, and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division, Serie A. It's Inter facing Fiorentina. Yeah, thanks, Derek. My advice to the players out there is try and get off to a quick start, be accountable for your own performance, but above all, go out and enjoy yourself. Should be a great game. Manuel Locatelli. Inter's lineup is as follows. We're thinking 4 3 3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. Well, here's how it looks for Fiorentina. So it was interesting to try to sum up a team's style of play, their approach. Um, there are many who think that it's overly conservative in this case. What do you think, Lee? Well, Derek, it's not my preferred way of playing, that's for sure. But horses for courses is fine until you concede. Do they have a plan B if that happens? I'm not too sure. Hakimi. On the ball, Diata. Depay. Barella, Ryan Ait Nuri. Here's Pulgar. Well, he's a wonderful talent, Christian Eriksen, and highly influential on the pitch. You have to come to the conclusion that he'll have a big say on today's proceedings, Lee. Well, Derek, all forwards need a supply line. Sometimes they create goals themselves but invariably the supply line comes from midfield. Well, here he is, the creator. Superb vision, fantastic technically, silky skills, I love him. Must take the lead here. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Santimina. Gaetano Castrovilli. Dangerous looking attack. Oh, in with a chance! And it's in! 1-0, they breach the defence! Well, it's brilliant, positive football. That's what the fans pay their money to come and see. What a goal! Well, back underway here, and that really should shake up into a bit, you would think. Ericsson. De La Vega. And Depay on the ball. Barella. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Now they've lost it. Eric Pulgar. Castrovilli. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Eric Pulgar. Well, they've given him too much space. Might be dangerous. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, visionary passing. Could it be? And it goes! The leveller! 
thrilling stuff here. Well, here's the replay. It's a lovely, quick counter-attack that sets up the chance. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Eric Pulgar. Well, the attack looks promising. Ericsson. Ryan Ait Nuri. Barella. And he's done it here, Christian Ericsson. Well, here's the replay, and that passing and movement is pure quality. And the thunderous strike to beat the keeper hands down is absolutely brilliant. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Well, Fiorentina certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession. After that, it's been a little bit disappointing. Creativity in midfield is a little bit off. Certainly a too slow in front of goal. Need to get wide, need to get crosses in the box. And giving the ball away. Castrovilli. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. And threading it forward. Chance, maybe. Not a time for composure on the ball. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Barella. Nuri. And with that, the first half draws to a close. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Santimina. Here's Pulgar. Fulgini. On to Pulgar. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Diata. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Well, Bayern have tried to get this deal over the line for a while. Now it is over the line. Good news for their fans, Lee. Well, the fee's around 100 million. That's an awful lot of money, but that's the sort of figures you've got to pay for quality players these days. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. And lining it up, off the post and back in play. Danger averted for now, but they have a corner to defend. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Corner kick played in. Well, no problems defensively. For Niles. Now well, there to intercept. 
A first-half performance that Christian Eriksen will certainly be proud of, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. And able to get a body in the way. Could cross it in here. Depay. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with it. And he's having a field day. Wow, what technique. When the ball comes to you and you don't need a touch and you can just whack it first time like this. What a goal. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, it's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Santimina. Santimina. Strong but fair tackle. Inter have struggled a little bit with possession, but to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. They just sit back, hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. Really tidy-looking attack continued. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. They take it short. Skriniar. Eriksson. Excellent block. And breaking at pace with Menace. Of excitement from Serie A should be guaranteed. Our next live game on EA TV. It's Inter facing Sampdoria. Yeah, Derek, it should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. Giving the ball away. Zima. Gaetano Castrovilli. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Inside the final five minutes now. De La Vega. Zielinski. Here's Eriksen. On the ball, Diata. Eriksen. High echelon goalkeeping there. And played short. Cuts it back. Gaetano Castrovilli. Here's Paul Lirola. So the final whistle, the referee says that will be all for this game.